Hello guys, I am Jenon from Anushandani Lam and I am hoping that you are well in this challenging time. So this is the part 2 of ESP to Android app playlist. So, today we are going to learn how you can manipulate data of Firebase through your Android app. So in order to do that first you need to create a new project in your Android studio. Empty activity, just give the app them test data then finish okay so first thing we need to do is to import the firebase system to do that we will go to tools firebase then we will use the real-time database so in order to do that we will go to real-time database save and retrieve data now we need to connect our app to the firebase make sure you are logging in with the same email where you have uploaded your uh, esp data then connect to firebase Then you need to add the real-time database to your app. To do that, a search change is done. So after you have done this thing, you need to do some coding. So we'll go to a com complete app to see the coding. So first you need to build a screen. So do that, let's go to layout. Here's your activity main layout. So I have built a simple UI, just a linear layout, linear layouts, under the linear layout there is a text view, just name of the app, then a text view, called LED status, then another text view with a ID on it, cause we need to get the data from the Firebase, I've just put some random data for now, and then in a separate layout, we have uh, built two buttons. Uh, horizontally on and off by using this button you can change the data of firebase and on your main activity file you need to declare the text view and you need to declare a firebase database and database reference I will provide the code in the description below so if you need some help you can check the description then you need to reference the codes and then you need to use a method of database reference database reference dot add value event listener and in this method under you will get a string value and this will be the value that has stored in your firebase then you have set the value in the text view now you have to Write a method uh, for the buttons so on dot set on click listener by set on click listener we know that we use the method to decide what will happen when someone click the button so when someone click the on button the value will be on and when someone will keep the button off it will turn off so now let's check the code we'll go to firebase on this account we go to real life database see the current status is off And our LED status is off. So if I turn it on, the database data goes on. If I turn it off, it will go off. And in your ESP, when it is turned off, your LED light will be off. And it, when it will be on, then you will be on. So I hope you understand it. If you have any confusion, feel free to comment below. Also, I will provide my contract description. You can contact me personally if you need any help. 
thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends who are interested in this kind of project thank you goodbye